everybody, it's Christina. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do another swatch video, which is one of my favorites to do. Today we're going to do a swatch video on the Revealed 3 palette. And I got this in a swap from one of my friends here on YouTube. And I will link her channel down below in case you want to check her out because I absolutely love her channel. I really, really, really love her channel. So definitely check it out if you have never heard of her. Um, and the I used this palette today to create this look. I've had it on for quite a few hours and I didn't use any primer I used my NYX jumbo pencil underneath it to help it a little bit and it looks a lot better in person than it does right now but it's kind of worn down a little bit so I mean these are cheaper um, alternative eyeshadows but I still think they're really good I love them I, I really really love them so I wanted to do a swatch video for you guys just in case you wanted to see the swatches um, so you know whether or not you want to buy it too if, because you can still buy this palette and it will be linked down below and of course I will do um, live swatches and then I will insert pictures for you guys too so if you're interested in seeing this swatch video on this palette please keep watching if you like the video definitely give me a thumbs up so I know you guys love watching my swatch videos so I can continue doing those for you guys um, subscribe to my channel if you haven't and check out my giveaways section um, to see all the open giveaways that I have going on and comment down below anytime you want to say hi or anything you want to say in any video and let's go ahead and get to swatching. Okay, so this is what the front of it looks like. This is what the back of it looks like. It has no mirror but it does say revealed three and then it uh, doesn't have any names on here but these are the pants and there are 20 eyeshadows so I'm gonna do the first five and then I'll see if I have room to do the to do all ten but I'm gonna start with this um, top row right here and we're gonna start with the lightest color so I'll put this right here so you guys can kind of see how I swatch it goes like that looks like some of these first few colors are like more like my skin tone colors okay. that one's pretty and I haven't used that one yet and then five So let me see if I can get one and two to come up anymore. Okay. So you can see that a little better now. And I will insert a picture of all of these, but these are the first five shades across the top here. Now we are back with a clean slate and we're going to go in with these top five colors that are left. So we're going to start with this gold color. So pretty. This reddish pinkish color. This pink one. I like the glitters in that one, that looks pretty. This purple one. And then this dark one right here. So there's the rest of the five and I will insert um, the picture right after this okay now we're gonna go back to we're gonna go down to the second row right here I'll pull it up and show you guys real quick we're gonna start with this dark purple and then we'll end in the black so we're gonna do the first five of course and then we'll do the second set of five and then if you guys see me rubbing um, some of the eyeshadows off on my little um, stool here is because it's easy for me to clean off so I just I always use this to do it 
So let's go ahead and get started. I like how um, soft they feel, but they do have a lot of kick. So that's just something to think of. It's They're really pigmented. Like Some of these aren't like too good to me, in my opinion, but they are very pretty and very buildable. It just took me a little longer to work with some of these, but since I collect a lot of makeup palettes, I would ca probably call myself a makeup palette collector because I have a lot of makeup palettes. Um, I don't mind working a little harder. Oh my gosh. I wonder if I can get that to pick up on camera. Oh, probably not. You guys, the glitter in this is stunning. Okay. When I um, do the pictures, definitely pay attention to that third color down because it's like, let me see if I can get it to show up on here. It's this one right here. It's like a light purpley color, but it's got red and gold like flex in it. You can kind of see it. That's really pretty. Really, really pretty. Okay. So number four is this shimmery light pink. I, I really love this palette. And I didn't even use <laughs> some of these colors for this look, and I should have because I picked the colors that I've been swatching that I didn't necessarily like so much. But um, you can see that they don't take a whole whole lot either to, uh, for the swatches. So I don't know. I'm gonna have to do some more looks definitely with this palette for you guys to kind of show you. I'm thinking about doing one of those three looks, one palette. Let me know what you guys think about that too. So. I will do pictures and I'll be right back for the last five. Okay guys, so exciting, we're on to the last five colors, yay! And I've used one of these colors, I think, in the color and the look that I did for today. <sighs> that pretty, that's really pretty that pretty. I meant to say that is really pretty. You can kind of see what I'm talking about with the kick up. Let me kind of show you. See this one's like really chunky. <sighs> yeah. Um, anyways, I was doing this gold one. There. I absolutely love the colors in this. I can always try it for some more looks though. Taupey brown one. So it had a lot of kick. Oh, no. Nope. It smoothed out. Oh, that's a perfect transition color. Ooh, girl, I like that one. Dang it, I should have used that one today. That's okay. I used like this cranberry-ish one on the top, and I really liked it. So I'm definitely gonna use that one next time, though. And then that one together. Oh my god, pretty. And then the last two are this purple color right here. I don't think I used this one because I think I ended up using this one yeah and then I used a little bit of this black and I, I like the way it built um, I don't remember there being glitter in the look that I created though so I don't think the glitter carried over but maybe if I put like a glitter primer down and then put that black on there or just do a look with just that black maybe the glitter will show up but I will definitely show a swatch picture of these 